in Town Talk today. I'm your host, Paula Hersey, and with me, Town Clerk Ann Quirk. <laughs> and I'm... welcome back to the studio. Oh, it's so nice to be back here. It is, and it's beautiful. The lighting is great. We're all looking pretty nice with the back lighting and new stools to sit on. But most importantly, we've got some really important information for our residents. Uh, it is election season again. It seems like we just end one and then another one starts. But what's happened is we have had a census. The 10-year census was in 2020. It seems an eon ago now. It's now 2022. But tell us what that census might have done for the town clerk and the things that you do. The 2020 census has notified us of uh, the uh, increase in our population. We went up over 3,500 people, which is wonderful to get people out to vote. I think it's a fabulous thing, but it's also a problem for your different polling locations. So we have to we have to kind of even it out across the town to make sure that there's no more than 4,000 people within each polling location. Interesting. So no more than 4,000 in each polling location. And this all came from the 2020 census. We mm -hmm. gained population. Mm -hmm. So let's start in the western part of the town, in the Catuit, the Mills, the Austervilles, the areas, Centervilles. Let's start in Catuit and come down. What kind of changes can we expect? Very few in Catuit, but there are a few streets that have moved to another polling location. Okay. And the same is true of Austerville, West Barnstable, um, Marston's Mills, definitely Marston's Mills. And it works its way across the town. And it, we just have to even out the number of residents within each of those polling locations. And we have to make sure that it is um, equitable. So that's part of the project that is done with the state and with the federal government. Right. So maps, right? <laughs> There's lots and lots of maps. Uh, our viewers are going to see on screen some of the areas that are changed. There's one area that is probably going to be the most confusing for some of our residents because their polling stations have changed dramatically in around different precincts. So specifically, let's talk about 3 and 13 and 4, that whole little area right there in Hyannis, a little bit of Osterville there. What's happened? Well... A large part of what used to be Precinct 13, which is at the polling location at the Hyannis Youth and Community Center, okay. has now moved over to Precinct 3, which is at the Senior Center or the Barnstable Adult Community Center. Right. Uh, so that's a big change for those folks. We also had a section of Centerville that kind of picked up a piece of Hyannis. It's, it's, you really have to see the maps to understand. It's kind of like a pie shape that came out of that. Yeah, and, and our viewers are going to see that on the screen as we're talking. And one of the things that we, you know, you just said the two polling stations. So Hyannis Youth and Community Center is off of Bassett Lane mm -hmm. in Hyannis. And then the Barnstable Adult Community Center is over on 28. They're they're not super far away, but when you're voting and we know that people, you know, sometimes are busy and they don't get that information, we really want to stress that you need to check your polling station. Is there a way to do that? Yes, there is. They can call the office okay. or they can simply go online to the Secretary of State's office. And I do have a website. I believe that you already have the information, right. and if they just click on it and put in their address, it'll tell them where the polling location is, Okay. so they can verify it. And that is the most accurate, either yes. calling the clerk's office or checking online. 
Correct. Correct. Okay. But there was more changes than just polling stations. And that was a big change. Again, we really want to stress to our viewers, make sure that you do check your polling station where you're going to go before the day of voting. There's nothing worse than getting somewhere and saying <laughs> this isn't your polling station. They do have to go to their correct polling station to do their vote. Am I correct on that? A absolutely. Right. But there's no other way for us to have them vote. Right. So that is that is key for this. But also, mm -hmm. we changed representative districts too. We, we used to have Tim Whalen as one of our representatives and he was in precinct one only. Today, Kip Diggs has picked up that precinct, and uh, Steve Zaharos has picked up preci uh, yes, precinct 10. So he has 10, 11, and 12 now. And his precinct goes further into Sandwich and, and, and beyond. Right, so that's the Barnstable 5th. Yes. Um, Barnstable 1st is basically... Yarmouth now. Yarmouth, mm -hmm. right? And then um, Representative Diggs is the Barnstable 2nd. Correct. Um, so when we look at redistric redistricting, that's also, again, to be equitable, right? These lines were drawn to, to be fair. Is, it's not 4,000 mm -hmm. again, is it? No, the um, representative districts went from 42,000 residents to 44,000 residents. Okay. So that's how that split happened. Um, but it's so important for you to know because this is a state election year. And, the, and when you do go to your polling locations this year, you're going to have to choose your ballot if you're unenrolled, which is our way of saying you're independent. And you, you need to know that ahead of time, who, who you're going to have in your area to vote for. Right. And, and does the state uh, website, when they check where they're going to go for a polling station, does it also have that information of who their representative would be, what district they're in? It does, and it also says whether they're um, Republican, Democrat, unenrolled, whatever. Okay, what if they don't find themselves in there? What happens? Pick up that phone and call me. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that does happen, right? Yeah. For whatever reason, you may fall off a voter roll. Um, if you've moved. If you've moved, right? Lots of people have done that seasonal shuffle over the years, so mm -hmm. we, we know that um, addressing is, is important. Yes. Um, our town census over the years, if you don't respond to it for a number of years, that can make you fall off as well. Okay. So the best way to do is to go to that um, state, right? The yes. Secretary it's, of State's website. Yes, absolutely. It's the, that's perfect because it's right there. Okay. Anything else you want our viewers to know besides that they need to vote in yes. all of our elections, not just the big ones, yeah. but all of our local elections as well? Yes, uh, they should know that there are, uh, for two of the precincts, there will be special elections this September. Oh, good point to bring up. There is. We have two counselors that uh, will be, I believe, in five one is in Precinct 5, and the other is in Precinct 3, which has got a lot of changes to it. So okay. they really need to kind of really pay attention to that, because this is their representation here in the town. Here in the town, right. Two town councilors, one from the Hyannis area and one from the Osterville area. Mm -hmm. um, that's Precincts 5 and 3. You'll be voting for a town councilor. Mm -hmm. And before we really even get into that piece, that is going to be on September 6th. You're going to vote for those town councilors. They won't be a primary for them and then going to the general election in no. November. It is voting for your town councilor on September 6th. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Anything else? I, I, I don't want to confuse the issue. Let's, let's make sure everyone checks where they're voting. Okay. <laughs> Check where you're voting. Uh, redistricting. Make sure you know who your representative is and what district that you're in. Whether your polling station has changed, which is really important if you're in uh, especially that 13 or 3 uh, polling mm -hmm. stations, either the Hyannis Youth Community Center or the Barnstable Adult Community Center. Check the Secretary of State's website for all of that information. Or if you get like really confused and you don't use online, you give our wonderful town clerk and quirk a call. Thank you. Thank you.